Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Gemini. I hope you guys are all doing great. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Gemini and it will not resonate with every Gemini cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have some moon rising or Venus placements in Gemini or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading can resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to um, schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. What's going on with my Gemini Collective? Gemini Collective. What's going on? What's in the collective energy? All right. So we have Revenge Body. All right. We have Happiness. Okay. We have Addiction. Okay. And we have Abundance. Okay. So... Some of you guys are maybe kicking some type of bad habit or destructive behavior, addiction, yeah. Um, looking really good, getting healthier. Looks like you're happy. I see abundance. I see financial blessings coming in for you. I see happiness. It, oh, somebody's jealous. Somebody's jealous that you're going to be doing so well. That you're going to be happy, that you're going to be looking good, that you're focusing on yourself. They feel like you're punishing them or they feel punished by this. All right, that you're going to be doing so well and they're not. They're probably this addiction energy, stuck in destructive behaviors, bad habits. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, you're like coming into a new you or, yeah, making changes in your life and somebody's jealous about this. Um, why is this person jealous? Tell me more about why this person is jealous. This is somebody that doesn't want anybody to have you or they're attached to you or they don't want to lose you. Yeah, protection. So... They feel like possessive over you, protective over you, this connection that they have with you, true love. Okay, so they do love, have love for you, all right? Love offer, they're coming in with some type of love offer to try to preserve this connection. Why are they jealous though? We have liar, Why liar, ghosting. What does that do with this person? Ghosting, what does ghosting have to do with this person? Mixed feelings reconciliation toxic yeah they're still toxic but they do want to reconcile with you they lied about something they're always lying communication was ended or there was abrupt ending an abrupt ending between you and this person okay um this person has been very indecisive not making up their mind conflicted what did this person lie about what haven't they been honest about okay so this person has made you a lot of promises but they never follow through. Unreliable. They've misled you in some way. They've broken your trust in some way. I feel like it's just, yeah, they've broken their promises to you. It's like a repeating cycle. They maybe tell you that they're going to change. They tell you that things are going to be different. They promise you certain things and then they don't. And then it's like maybe something that keeps happening. All right. Um, yeah. And this is why this relationship has been very complicated. Where does um, Gemini stand in this situation? Tell me about Gemini. We have Runner. All right. So you guys are trying to, you're ignoring this person or you're running from this connection, avoiding them. You're having a hard time with this though. Tell me more. Or like you view this person as a runner. What does this have to do with Gemini's feelings? Wedding, new cycle, dry spell. I feel like you guys are hoping that for a new, fresh new start. Um, you guys are not really having any new love or action in love right now. Um, so what are you guys strategizing? It's like you guys are being very strategic with this. Like you know exactly what you're doing with this person. So you guys probably are trying to punish this person or you are probably trying to make them jealous or just, you know, show them that you don't need them, that you're doing better without them. Like, you know what I mean? In some way, you know, like the best revenge is to just be happy and focus on yourself, do better, you know, you improve yourself. Um, I just feel like you guys are in this energy where you're not going to budge. Like you're not going to waver, like whatever this person is wanting you to do. I just see you guys standing your ground being in flight, like, like, you know, exactly what you're doing and you're standing your ground. 
if that makes sense when it comes to this person holding back yeah you're purposely holding back from them what does wedding and something brewing runner have to do with gemini jealousy what does that do with this person options and bad intentions hmm unlocking cut out what does jealousy have to do with this person They're going to come in and try to fight for your love, try to say that they want to commit to you, that they want something solid and stable with you, that they're going to be removing some type of blockages here because I feel like it's because this person knows that you're really cutting them off or something like that. Um, it's like you guys do, you guys want a commitment with this person. You want it, things to go to the next level with them, but you were maybe dealing with a runner, somebody that was avoiding you, ignoring you. What does something is brewing have to do with Gemini? What does something is brewing have to do with... Okay. What does something is brewing? Gossip. Okay. And divine intervention. Something the divine is brewing. Opposites. Okay. And what about opposites? Okay. What's that have to do with anything? Secretly stalking. They're watching you. Somebody's secretly stalking you. They feel foolish. Their perspective is shifting and they feel foolish. They, they're they unable to move on from you. Yeah, maybe this person thought they would be able to move on from you, but they're not. So now they feel foolish. They're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. Um, you and this person haven't been able to get on the same page, but it looks like they're divine. There is some type of divine plan here. What does gossip have to do with, what is the gossip about third party? What does this have to do with Gemini? Okay, hold on. What does gossip have to do with Gemini? An inner knowing that what? Hot and cold. What about their income, their mixed signals? Dating. So what does this have to do with this person? I just feel like this person knows that maybe you're going to find new love soon. Yeah, I don't see them with anybody else. And now they want to come in and make some type of change because they feel like you're moving on from them. What is this person's intentions with Gemini? What are their intentions with Gemini? What is this person's intentions with Gemini? Yeah, reconciliation. They want to come back together with you, want to work things out. They will return. They feel like there's unfinished business between the two of you. Yeah, they want to try to move forward away from, like, they want to move forward. Yeah, heal this. One more card. What are their intentions with Gemini? Yeah, I feel like they want new love. Hmm. Could be they want a new beginning in love. I see an apology here for some type of conflict or something like that. What does new love have to do with this connection? New love and for their intentions, finality. So what's that have to do with this person and their intentions for Gemini? What does this mean for their intentions with Gemini? Freedom. So they're freeing themselves from something from the past. Risk. Options. Unrequited. Hmm, money is tight. Yeah, I was getting that this person, you're very abundant. This person's going through some financial issues. Hmm. I see that they want to reconcile with you, but maybe they need to let go of an ex or something. There may be an ex in the, the mix that they still need to release. Clarify new love. Clarify new love. Strategy and passion. What does this have to do with Gemini? Children. What about children? Home and phone call. The feelings are mutual. They do their heart space is opening for you. They're trying to clean up their life. They're gonna reach out to you. What is this communication about? Twin flame. What about this? They want to try to get on the same page as you. See, divine intervention, and what about this? You guys being on different pages. Fights. They want to try to get on the same page as you and apologize. Mend this relationship. What is all this other? What does home and children have to do with this, though? Boundaries.
Maybe you guys are just trying to protect your space. You're trying to protect your children. Like from this, like, not that this person's like trying to hurt your children, but you guys are just trying to protect your home front. You know what I mean? Like, how do I explain this? See, so yeah, jealousy again. Unable to move on. clarity about what's going on here queen of wands in reverse aries leo sagittarius energy the ace of cups the emperor aries energy the star aquarius energy seven of wands in reverse <sighs> Who is this Queen of Wands in reverse? What does Queen of Wands in reverse mean for Gemini? The sun in reverse and the devil. The three of wands in reverse. What's this obstacle? What's the obstacle and delay? Why? So you this is a situation that you guys kept going back to. Like I, that repeating cycle energy. This is somebody that you kept going back into a cycle with because of a lack of self-worth is what I'm getting here. You are the queen of wands reverse. You guys didn't know your worth. Um, didn't have that much confidence in yourself. Um, that's what I'm getting, a lack of self-worth. A situation that wasn't really making you happy, that was toxic for you, that was really causing obstacles and delays for you. I feel like you returned to this situation or you, you have returned to it in the past and it has always ended up in conflict. Um, in an ending the world. Um, because you're dealing with a very unemotional person. Like they're, they're refusing to make an emotional investment. What about, what's the Ace of Cups mean for Gemini? The Ten of Swords in reverse. You guys are going to be healing and recovering and moving on. I do see new love manifesting or a new beginning in love manifesting. We have this new love card. Um, but why do we have the King of Cups in reverse? There's that emotionally withdrawn person. You guys are moving away from that person that is be emotionally manipulative or abusive. They're very moody or they're very cold. Okay, you guys are moving away from that person and moving towards new love now. Tell me more about it. The lovers in reverse. And yeah, you feel like this is the yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Swords. Somebody's hiding their feelings. Is this, how does, where, how does Gemini relate to this? The Two of Pentacles, weighing your options. You don't, I feel like you're trying to decide if you think this person will ever. Okay. So I feel like this is this person coming back. They're this Knight of Pentacles. They come back. They're saying that they want this new beginning with you. The Two of Cups, the Ace of Wands. They want to restart this with you. You guys are trying to make a decision about whether or not you can trust this person what they're saying to you. And it looks like you might not be able to trust them because we do have love offer and habitual liar. All right. So I see them coming in, offering you something, but you guys have feeling like there, there's this energy of talk and no action. All right. Yeah. Seven of swords that they're being deceitful. They're lying. You can't trust them. All right. So I see you guys trying to weigh your options, not really wanting to show this person too much of your emotions, staying emotionally withdrawn, not bringing your emotions into it. Needing to make a decision about whether or not I feel like you want to accept this person's offer of a new beginning or not. But we do have the emperor in reverse as well. They definitely have a big ego. They want to have the power. They want things their way. All right. Tell me about this emperor in reverse. The knight of cups. Yeah, they're coming in with some type of expression of emotions and offer. Queen of cups in reverse. I don't know. I don't think you guys may. Queen of swords. King of swords in reverse. The sun. The eight of swords in reverse. And the three of wands. The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are going to wait. Stay single. Heal. Maybe some of you guys feel like you need to just stay single and heal. Um, some of you guys maybe feel like your life has been going a lot better since you freed yourself from this situation with this person. So why would you go back into this? I feel like you with the King of Swords in reverse, you think this person is a liar. Or you guys are just closed off to this person if this is your energy. But I just feel like you guys are... feel like you've given too much to this person. But the star, there is healing energy here. The star. 
Yeah, the King of Swords in reverse again. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, nothing has changed. Yeah, look at this. This person's like rushing towards you, kind of doing this very impulsively, and they still don't see your value or your worth, or a new beginning between you and this person is still blocked. Tell me why. The Five of Swords in reverse. So they do, like, there is, like, they do want to reconcile with you. They do want to make amends. But the magician in reverse, like, it's not, this reconciliation isn't going to manifest, or this person is just very, they're not ready. It's going to be unfulfilled potential, death. They need to put something to their from their past to an end. There's something that they've been holding on to they need to release. Stop holding on to from their past. Yeah, and then I see like a more positive energy, something, yeah. But maybe this person needs to spend some time alone. Somebody needs to spend some time alone. There needs to be healing. What does the star mean for Gemini specifically? What does the star mean for you? Yeah, the three of pentacles in reverse, the chariot in reverse. You guys may be hoping and trying to hold out hope that they will maybe meet you halfway. They will compromise with you. They will, you know, cooperate with you that this will maybe somehow move forward. Um, but I just see blockages galore. I'm just going to be honest. There's that Ace of Pentacles. The King of Pen Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What's this have to do with Gemini? The Fool in reverse. I just don't think you guys are going to take it. You're too afraid to take this person's offer or to go back into something with them. Yeah, doubt. You doubt this person or you doubt yourself, your ability to make a decision about this. I see you guys maybe taking some time to think about it, not accepting this right away. Taking some time to think it through before you decide. Yeah, weighing your options. We did have the two of pentacles. Hmm, let's see. Can they trust? I don't feel like you can, but can they trust this person? Is this person being sincere? I may be wrong though, guys. This person being sincere, is this all in their head? Um, this person's very needy. They're very codependent. Ten of is this person being sincere? What is this person's energy? The six of cups, the sun. What about it? What is this person's energy when it comes to this? They do want to reconcile. Like, I don't see them being like. The problem is that this person is has issues with codependency. And playing the victim. They're very needy and overly sensitive. They have a lot of insecurities. Like, I don't feel like they're they are they're bad. They could be just very emotionally unstable, too. The emperor in reverse. Yeah, like immature. Um, they have a big ego, inflexible, and I don't feel like they like have bad intentions for you, but they do miss you. They do feel a connection to you. They do want to reconcile, but I feel like their emotional immaturity or like something about their emotional, like they need to heal is going to continue to be a blockage for you and this person. It's not like that. We do have a habitual liar there, but it's like they don't, I don't feel like they're intentionally lying to you. They, they do have the intent to want to reconcile and work things out, but it's like they're just not ready for it. Nothing else to do. There's nothing you could have done differently. Challenges teach you everything is as it should be. We have clear the air. A lot was left unsaid. They can no longer hide the way that they feel about you. We have resistance. They are resisting the connection. Their higher self is telling them it's not the right time. I also feel like with the Queen of Cups in reverse, they're going to still be wanting to not invest emotionally. We have soulmate. They're your soulmate. Open your heart to the unexpected possibilities. It will be the right time. But they don't want to lose you. The fear of losing you is much greater than the fear of the unknown. Listening, they're choosing to follow their heart and not waste any more time thinking. But see, we do have last test in reverse. I don't usually read reversals. Ugh, I don't know, guys. Still the same person. Nothing has changed. But have you learned your lesson? I was seeing unchanged energy. I don't know, guys. I don't feel maybe spirit is this is your, you know. Spirit is saying that the fact that you keep giving this person letting this person in is like is coming from a lack of self-worth. Has this person changed or no? I don't feel like they have, just to be honest. Does this person change? Awakened? Okay, hold up. <laughs> they have done the work and want to take a leap of faith for love. So it's looking like they may have. Bring newness though. Angels are blocking connection. They're someone better than who you have in mind. So they may be like getting, mm, taking action. No more talk. They want to show you and put in the work to repair what they've broken. So now they want to put action behind their words. There is something faded about your connection. 
you sign up to do the journey together before you were born. Nothing will go wrong. And this person being stubborn, uh, too stubborn to change, there will be divine intervention after hitting rock bottom. I don't know. I feel like this person doesn't want to lose you. And they, you guys are maybe getting to the point where you feel like, well, maybe this is just not meant to be. It's time for me to move on to other options. And then all of a sudden, they want to take this leap of faith. Tell me about awakened. Is this something that they can trust? This leap of faith that this person is taking towards them. Yeah, they're making some type of decision about you. After much thought, but we have new love on the back of the deck. After much thought, they decided to be with you instead of their other option. I mean, for some of you, they maybe had somebody else, but I don't think that that's what it is. They, I told you they do miss you. Everything is playing out the way that it's supposed to, but I see you guys like letting this person go, kind of just giving it to the divine, make it, like allowing, you know, the yeah, the missing you. Being without you has been too hard to bear. Their happiness is with you. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, they don't want anybody else to have you. They're going to be back. All right. But I just still, mm, yeah, they do. There is some type of third party. The third party could very well be their damn ego because I do see that they have a big ego, but they're about to have an ego death. And this immaturity is a big problem. So I see you guys trying to keep an open mind now because you just feel this person's immature. They're probably never going to change. They won't open up to you. There is maybe some, for some of you, a third party involved. But yeah, they're about to have an ego death here. Finally realize like what they've been doing wrong. Want to make some type of change. <sighs> yeah time, take time to think things through that's what i was getting like so you're just saying don't rush back into anything with this person yeah look at this we have march we're about to head right into march and we have yeah act with sincerity and without conditions hmm when is this person coming back? When is this person going to try to come back? This driven by jealousy. See, someone or someone is not, someone or something is not good for you. So what do they need to know about that? Bide your time, follow the signs, listen to your intuition, wait quietly for a good opportunity. Yeah, in April. What about April? Something, it's going down this spring. Time has run out. There's something better. You've learned your lesson. You're not giving this person any more chances. So what does this mean for this? It will take a while. Make a decision when you feel your best. Yeah, Spirit says don't let this person rush you into a decision. Some of you guys are going to decide to not give this person another chance. What's the significance of March? All right, hold up. That's too many cards. What's the significance of March? Rushing in now? Yeah, they've been like slowly moving towards you, but they're going to rush in in March. But Spirit says this will be a waste of your time. Nothing will come of it. But... um. Hmm. so spirit is saying you can't it's just this person is not ready i do think that they want this with you they're just not ready for this the wheel is turning follow the flow of events go with the flow something is destined to happen here yeah there's that bad force is blocking time but right now this person's not good for you and we have time has run out so spirit says there may be somebody better for you than this person but this person's not right for you yeah stay optimistic you're going in the right direction unexpectedly a turn of events lessons to learn slowly moving towards you you already know Something is in the works. Timing will be perfect. Hmm. Spirit just says something will be worth waiting for. All good things take time. They're about to be forced into change. We had that uh, trust your angels, that rock bottom card. They're, they've been being very stubborn and resistant and they're about to be forced into some type of change. Yeah, March. Timing is of great importance. Reconciliation. Okay. What's this have to do with Gemini? Scorpio season. Don't obsess. Take time to think things through. So they're going to try to come back and reconcile with you possibly next month. All right. I'm seeing it. Yeah. They're going to try to come back towards you. But Spirit says, they don't just rush back into anything with this person. Don't rush back into it with them. All right. They're telling you, think it through this time. Don't just do anything impulsively. 
But they're going to try to come back, I feel like, in March. And Spirit is saying that you need to take some time. They're coming back out of jealousy. All right? And they want you to take some time to think things through. They will, like, eventually, I feel like, get it together. There will be, like, stability between you and this person. It looks like it's going to happen sometime this year. Spirit said you guys may already know what you, how you need to handle this situation. So listen to your intuition. Yeah, now somebody feels like they have limited time to like maybe a, like have something with you. They're about to miss out on you. All right, hold up. One more card. One is first. Yeah, something about change will be forced upon because this person is stubborn. So there's about to be some type of divine intervention forcing this person into change. Mm -hmm. the angels are trying to help you or they are helping you in when it comes to this situation something it's like you and this person will come back together and it's happening faster than you think but it's after you let them go of course after you stop clinging to them after you stop resisting having to release them or let them go um this situation's holding you back for right now then something is going to shift like how everyone's reading is this week <laughs> okay guidance Quick guidance, because I this reading went long, way longer than I wanted it to. We have travel. There's a strong desire to wander or travel and explore the world. This time you do expect to travel soon. We have faith. Have faith in the universe. Let it impress you with its magic. Enjoy the beautiful journey. And we have clarity. Yeah, look at this. You and this person need some space. Yeah, there is true love between you and this person, but they want you to spend some time with yourself. Yeah, this is much needed. You're going to get the clarity that you want. Summer could be significant, but they're saying that like this person is going to come in and they're going to be kind of like trying to rush something or they're going to want you to decide something. But Spirit says, don't rush into anything with this person. Create some space to get clarity so you may see the fantastic future that lies ahead of you. And we have, wait, don't feel rushed to make a decision right now. Spend time alone meditating upon what truly makes you happy. Yeah, they really want you to think about what it is that you want out of life. And if this person is in alignment with that. And Spirit says, no, they're not. That's what I see. Yeah, they're saying break free. Yeah, because some... Because, like, there's something that's trying to manifest for you, but this situation is blocking that manifestation. So they're saying say no to toxic connections, say no to tainted offers, and any influences around you that are harmful. All right, and what is that going to lead to? What is going to see happiness? Look at this. Positive energy is flowing around you and within you. Stay optimistic. There is a lot of good coming your way. And we also have self-love. Yeah. Awaken the love within you. Attune your heart to love, and your energy will connect to the flow of the universe. Like, you and this person do have a soul connection, but decisions. Yeah, you're going to have to make, yeah. If you take too long to decide, worries, ego, and limiting beliefs, and the opinions of others will creep in. So you're going to have some type of decision to make about this person, but they don't make let this person rush you. Don't make a decision based off what other people want you to do. Base, do what you feel is right for yourself. Yeah, autumn. So we have fall here as well. What? We, oh, we didn't have any. I thought we had summer come on, but we didn't. We have fall or autumn. Everything will come together in the fall. Expect change, balance, and reconnecting with loved ones during this time. So maybe you and this person need some time apart right now. But maybe in the fall, you and this person may be able to come back together or something like that. All right. So and come back together in the right way. You maybe need to take some time apart to heal, work on yourselves, um, find your own happiness, self-love. Anyways, I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.